What's up, y'all? Um, I had vast plans on having like a formal introduction video, etc. But I moved to have this conversation. So I have a call at 11 o'clock and I figured I would spend some time because let me tell you about the world. The world is wilding. For those who don't know me, I'm the Ignite Intellectual. My name is Z, but I run a brand called the Ignite Intellectual Group, the Ignite Intellectual Brand, anything Ignite Intellectual. If you want to know why I named it the Ignite Intellectual, you can go to the Ignite Intellectual Group.com and you can read all about it. So, y'all, so let's talk about, um, first of all, things that we have been deceived about and lied about. There's this quote, uh, I drink coffee, iced coffee, and there's a, a coffee place called Dunkin' Donuts, and it says America runs on Dunkin'. Lies. America runs on racism. We've been lied to. America runs on racism. So let's talk about racism. So the other day they had, I live in Harlem and that's where I'm at. Shout out to 130th and Lenox. They had a lady in Central Park and I'm not a, a pet person, but apparently there's a dog park in Central Park and you have to have your dog on a leash at all times. I might be butchering that part. I'm going to guess that in Central Park, you have to have your dog on a leash. So Amy Cooper, white woman, very caring tendencies, did not have her dog on a leash. So then they had a dude named Christian Cooper, not related to Amy Cooper, who is a black man who started filming because he's asking Amy Cooper to put her dog on the leash. Like, come on, put Fido on the leash. So the video starts where we are seeing Amy Cooper give us an award winning performance, honey. Like she should have been. I always confuse the Oscars and the Grammys and all of these different spaces, but Whichever the one is for acting, acting, that's what she should have got. Homegirl decides she wants to come up on dude and like stop recording me. Um, she starts, she call the cops. Not only do she call the cops, she gives an award women fake winning, fake ass performance. Like Christian Cooper is literally attacking her. Then she goes, I'm gonna call the cops and tell them that African American black man is attacking me, or African American man is attacking me. Call the cops. I don't know if she even really called the cops, but she calls the cops. Um, and start performing like he is up on her. Meanwhile, dude is feet. I'm not good at distance, but dude is buku feet away. Um, basically all he wants is for this lady to put her fucking dog on a leash. Meanwhile, she about to kill the dog. Did y'all see that part? She about to literally send Fido back to Jesus. The way she, the dog is like, I think Fido wanted to get free that day. Um, and was hoping that. He could wriggle, wriggle his way up out of that leash. But she about to damn to kill her dog trying to lie to the cops that a black man is attacking her when he really not attacking her. No, no, he not even nowhere near her to attack her. So anyway, the internets, who work faster than any official detective, went into motion. Found out where homegirl work. Found out uh, who she was. She has, she, first she was on administrative leave. Now she didn't lost her job. She got fired because wherever she worked was like, we don't tolerate racism. Which Let me, let me get to this point. So I woke up this morning to see that we have now found out more information about Christian Cooper. Christian Cooper is a bird watcher. I'm not going to stereotype. I just ain't never knew black. I ain't never met a black bird watcher. So, but shout out to you, bro. You know, um, actually that's probably some peaceful ass shit. If we watch more birds, we probably would like be less stressed. That's probably, that's probably cool. I was annoyed that yesterday Christian Cooper was like, he don't need Amy to apologize. He don't need nothing to happen to her. Listen, Christian, me and you, we ain't the same. Because I need Amy locked up. I need Amy fired. I need all of that. Anyway, so fast forward back to today. We now, I now wake up to see more information on who Christian Cooper is. And this is the whole point I wanted to make about this video. I was just going to put it in, you know, my infamous Instagram post and say, okay, bye at the end. But I wanted to make a video. We know Christian Cooper worked for Marvel. We know he's a Harvard graduate. We know he's a bird watcher. We know he's part of the Audubon Society. All of these great, what I'm going to call whitewash, white affirming connections and interactions with spaces. But the problem with that is I don't need to know all that about Christian Cooper to know that he didn't deserve the way Amy Cooper wild the fuck out and could have cost him his life. I don't need to know none of that. Christian Cooper could have been a random motherfucker. 
asking this white lady to put her dog on a leash. So let me be clear. The reason why it angers me is because the same way we have given all of this information about Christian Cooper, this elite information is the same way white people fish and search for how somebody black was a criminal and deserved to die. It's, the, it's rooted in the same intent. And what is that? It's to dehumanize black people. The moment you made Christian Cooper not a black man, but a Harvard graduate, an Audubon Society member, a person who worked with Marvel, the moment you made him all that other shit is the moment you made him not a human no more. You turned him quickly from a subject to an object and immediately. I, we, we should not have to consistently figure out the most the closest we are to whiteness, because, you know, Harvard, let's be clear. When you say Harvard, you say something That's, that says something. The moment we fished for all the good reasons and all of the ways he plays into whiteness as a reason, as an example, as whatever. Christian Cooper just became non-human. Period. And that is the exact that is rooted in, in the exact same thing as. When somebody does something and we try to put, pull up their criminal past. It's, it's the exact same thing. It's rooted in the exact same thing. Mind you, Amy Cooper identifies as a liberal. Homegirl probably voted for Hillary. She probably ain't one of them Trump people that, that we talk about. She is probably one of those white women who sit. They got people wherever she work who happy as fuck that she got fired. I'm telling you, they got some black people sitting at that job, like, thank you, Jesus, because this motherfucker. Listen, we, we could have a whole other conversation about white women and the weaponization of their femininity and how it fucks up so many lives. But I want to be clear and drive the point home that we should not have to tout all of the, the ways in which we successfully navigate white institutions and get the things that white institutions, the symbolic affirmation that they give us, whether that's a degree, whether that's a award, whether that's honorary, whatever. We should not have to show how much of those we accumulate to be seen as fucking human beings. Again, Christian Cooper could have been a random motherfucker in Central Park asking this lady to put her dog on a leash and still be a human being. Period. That man could have fucking died. Do you know that if the cops had come and believed Amy Cooper's ass over him, we'd have been back with another man dead, which we which already happened later that day. Dude put his neck, his knee on the dude's neck and he died. He got fired. Which I want to be clear, just firing these motherfuckers is not enough. Like anyway. I want us to understand how even though it looks good, it can still be rooted in the same toxicity as something that we know is bad. If we want to create the good, bad situation. The same search that people do to bring up criminal past is rooted in the same search we do to go find the good accolades of black people. It's the same problem. And that problem is. The dehumanization of black people in order to appeal to white authorization or, you know, whatever. It's the same thing. So if I get shot or somebody do some shit to me, do not dig up all the good shit. Because it ain't, it's only good because somebody say it's good. Don't dig up all of the Columbia professor and the Spelman grad and, you know, the, the guy, you know, grew up in the hood, single black mama, but made it. Don't dig that shit up. Just be like, Z didn't deserve to die. Because he was a human being worthy of love and belonging. Period. All right, y'all. It's 1059. I got a call at 11. I'm about to post this on Instagram, YouTube, all of that. I might come back later and have a no more official video about some of the things I want to do with the channel. But so that's it. Have a good day. Each one teach one. Increase the peace and a bottle of hair grease. Peace.